My name is Hannah Barag and I'm 75 years old. I am the mother of two and the grandmother now of five. I just had a new granddaughter. Uh, and I've been a member of so much for the last nine years, since uh, January 2002. Uh, uh, I am my major uh, position in Marsomoch, or what I do in Marsomoch is I write the complaint letters. I have an industry writing complaint letters. Every single day we must have hundreds, thousands of complaint letters. We don't get answers. If we get uh, one answer out of 200 letters or 500 letters, we feel that we got answers. What are you complaining but about? Everything we see all over, the, all over the West Bank. Everything that we feel the army is to blame. And if not, then we write to the Minister of Defense and we write to the minister that is responsible for the secret service and the, the, the police. And uh, of course, getting people off the, blessed li the black list. We, we have a whole industry of letter writing, which uh, we, of course you can say from the one point of view that we have an inflation of letters, and that's why we don't get any answers. From the other point of view, it can only show you how many things we have to complain about, and if we don't get answers, we can at the end say, you don't even answer us, then you're supposed to answer us. So, and the other thing is I'm the connection to the army, uh, which is not a nice position because in many ways it is like a collaboration. Because if we were just a political organization and not a human rights organization, we would never talk to anyone. We would stand here with a banner like Winner in Black and say we are against this occupation. Enough. But if you are a human rights organization, you also talk to someone and that is a problematic position because you actually don't, of course, ever say that. But what you're actually doing is you're saying to the other side, I make, I, you know, you are entitled to do it in some way, entitled in brackets, but only do it in a better way. Mm -hmm. And this conflict is being with us from the minute go. We always had to deal with this problem. If you ask me why am I doing it, I only have one reason. When I look in the mirror at the end of the day, I say to myself, I have done the best I could at a given moment. I know that it's not earth shaking and nothing is, even if I'm there or if I'm not there, it's all going to go on until someone, somewhere, and I hope that you, con Congress members, will push us and Obama will push us and whoever can will push us because if we are not pushed, nothing is going to happen. And of course, as long as the both sides are winning financially from the situation, nothing is going to change.